This is Portia Stewart, editor of First Line Magazine, and I'm joined right now by Ann Wardinger. Ann is a technician and a veterinary technician specialist, and she's going to answer a question for us today. Uh, the question is, what is one of the top uh, myths about nutrition? Is some of the things that we're seeing most commonly are the marketing plans that are targeted at gluten-free. Um, there is no reason for dogs and cats to be fed gluten-free diets. We've got animals that are being offered raw food diets and actually the AVMA and the AAVN, the American Academy of Veterinary Nutritionists, are in strong disagreement as to the feeding of raw food diets to our pets. And we get a lot of uh, flack on corn. And there is nothing nutritionally wrong with corn. Both dogs and cats can process it, and it is a good solid ingredient in many pet foods. And Anne, what is one of, more, one of the more common questions that you hear from clients about their pets' diets? Well, one, I would prefer that the clients do come to their veterinary team with their nutrition questions rather than asking their breeder or asking the 16-year-old at the pet store that, um, a lot of times they want to know what is the best food, and there is no one best food. We have so many foods out on the market because we have different challenges for animals, we have different requirements, that there are a number of things that I look at when evaluating a food, and the first one is whether it has gone through feeding trials. Um, if it has not gone through a feeding trial, then we don't know what the quality of that food is, and quality and marketing are not related. Great, and as far as uh, team members, what is a good way for them to start the dialogue to talk about what the pet is being fed? That should be a question that is asked at every exam, starting from the time that they are puppies or kittens that are coming in. We need to ask what they are feeding. We need to discuss what their weight is, what their body condition is. And this should be an ongoing dialogue from the time that they are first at the clinic. So every pet, every time is what we typically say. Every pet, every time. Yep. Thank you, Ann. You're welcome.